So in this problem, you're told an object is hanging by a string from your rear view mirror while you are accelerating at a constant rate from rest to 28 meters per second in six seconds. What angle theta does the string make with the vertical? And they give us a figure here. So imagine this right here is your car and you've got your rear view mirror right here. And so we have this object. Initially, it's going to be hanging down like this. But when we accelerate the car, right, we're going to accelerate and go fast. This thing is going to fly backwards and it's going to make some angle theta. And that's what we're trying to find. And so how are we going to do this? So the first thing we need to do to solve this problem is actually to find this uh, acceleration here. We need the acceleration of the car uh, because it's going to be necessary to solve the rest of the problem. So let's actually go ahead and solve for that first. So how are we going to solve for the acceleration? So the way we're going to do it is by using kinematics. So they give us uh, some variables in the kinematics. So the first thing I always like to do when solving equations like these is to write out my main variables, which are uh, delta x, our displacement, our initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time. So I just write out my five main kinematic variables, and I know I'm going to be solving for acceleration. So I'll just say a equals question mark, and then I'm going to determine which of the variables they're giving us. So looking at the problem, I know that we're accelerating at a constant rate from rest to 28 meters per second. So I know the initial velocity is zero since we're starting from rest and we're going to 28 meters per second. So our final velocity at the end of this interval is 28 meters per second. And then I know the time that this is gonna take is six seconds. Uh, we don't know what the distance traveled is, but we don't need to know uh, because we already have three variables. So to solve kinematics, you just need three of the variables which we have. So I can use this information to solve for the acceleration over this interval, which is what we need. Uh, the way I'm going to solve for it is by using one of the kinematic equations, which is this one right here. V equals V sub zero uh, plus A times T. Uh, I'm using this because we have V, we have V sub zero and we have T. So it's just a matter to solve, uh, to plug in to solve for A. So starting off, we have 28, which is V equals zero plus six times A because T is six. Right, so to solve for this, uh, you would just divide by six. And when you do that, you will get a value of A equals 4.667, uh, and the units of acceleration are meters per second squared. Uh, and yeah, so now we have the acceleration. And uh, now how are we gonna solve for this? So the way we're gonna solve for this is by summing the, or basically summing the forces. Um, but what we, what we need to do first is draw the free body diagram of what's acting on our object here. So this little dot is your object right there. And we know it's going to have some force due to gravity pulling it straight down, which is mg. And then uh, we have this angle theta. And then we know we have tension in this cord right here that's going to be holding it upwards. And so whenever you do a free body diagram, it's important to draw it uh, relative to your ax, like your axis. So we have x and y here. So I'm actually going to split this into two components. So we have t sub x right here, and then t sub y. Uh, this is t sub y because it's in the y direction here. t sub x is in the x direction. And so they're going to point this way and then upwards. And so what we're going to do now is actually uh, solve for these. And so let me explain how we're going to find theta. So uh, whenever you draw triangles like this, if we know what t sub x is and we know t sub y, we can solve for theta. Now, how is that? Uh, it's going to be using trig. So you should know that the tangent of an angle, uh, right? So the tangent of this angle theta is tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite of this angle is T sub X and the adjacent of the angle is T sub Y. So if we can solve for T sub X and T sub Y, right? If we just take the arc tangent of both sides, we can actually just solve for theta. So we just need to know the tension in the x and the tension in the y. Uh, and that, that'll give us our angle theta. Uh, but uh, how do we solve for those? So the way we're going to do it is by summing the forces in the x and y. So I'm going to start with the x. So if I sum the forces in the x, I know it's going to be equal to max, where ax is the acceleration in the x direction. And you should know what the acceleration in the x is. It's what we just solved for. So this acceleration of the car is the same as uh, the acceleration when we sum the forces in this direction uh, because it's going to affect the way that this this is going to accelerate the same as this chord right here 
so or the object. So that's why that's that. And then we have max equals, and then we just want to sum the forces in the x. Uh, notice in this thing here, the only force in the x is actually just uh, the tension in the x, because mg is in the y, and then t sub y is in the y. So they're both in the uh, in the y. So really, max is just equal to your tension in the x direction. So now we know what t sub x is, just plugging in our acceleration we found and mass. But what we want is t sub y too. So to do this, we'll sum the forces in the y. So in the y, you should know that we're actually not accelerating at all in the y direction, meaning some of the forces in the y, right? because this would be equal to m times the acceleration in the y. Uh, if we're not moving in a direction, the acceleration in that direction is 0. So really, this is 0. And then 0 is going to be equal to, and now we sum up the forces in the y. So our two forces are mg, which is straight down, and then the y component of our tension. So uh, I like to choose up to be positive, so t sub y is up, so it's t sub y minus mg, uh, because this is upwards, and then mg is negative, so it's downwards. Um, so t sub y, if you move this to the other side, we know t sub y is mg. And so now what you should notice is, in order to solve for our theta, we need t sub x, which we just found, m times a sub x, and then t sub y, which is just equal to your mg here. So uh, we just found what we need, and it's really just a matter of plugging it in. So you have theta equals the arc tangent of your t sub x, which is m a sub x, uh, right? So m a sub x over m g. What you should notice here is the mass actually doesn't matter because it cancels out. So really, it's just the arc tangent of our acceleration in the x divided by uh, the acceleration due to gravity, which is just a constant uh, 9.8. So uh, plugging this in now, 4.667. I'm going to use the exact value in my calculator. And then dividing by 9.8. And when you do that, you'll get your angle theta, which is equal to 25.46 degrees. You can round however you'd like. So you can say 25.5 degrees. Uh, just make sure you round whoever your teacher is asking you to. Uh, but yeah, so your angle theta here, uh, as a result of this object going from here to there, the angle it creates is 25.5 degrees. So just a basic rundown of what we did to solve this. Notice that uh, we need to solve for the acceleration uh, in order to solve when summing the forces here. So you could just recognize first that, well, the arc tangent equals t sub x over t sub y. And then I would know I would need this acceleration in the x after finding this equation here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's basically how we did it. We just used kinematics 2 to find that acceleration. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.